Rightio, the product I found that I like for road base is called Suede. It's a sandy sort of product. I'm sure somebody smarter than me will know all about it. Um, it's for walls and it's a gritty sort of sandy sort of finish. Uh, I found the sample in Bunnings. They couldn't actually make it for me uh, there. They, um, for, for whatever reason, they didn't have it in stock. So I just went to a paint shop with the sample I took off the wall, a little card. Right this moment, I can't remember the name of the colour that I chose, but there was only about two different greys, uh, and I chose a grey that I thought most resembled tar, uh, or a road-based finish. Um, if you just go into the paint sections there, you'll see them hanging up little cardboard samples. Grab one and um, just go to the local paint shop, or your Bunnings, your local Bunnings might be able to make it up for you. This is just a small pot, which is ample supply for road base. There's more than enough there to do all the roads I'll need to make here in this and some. So we'll have a little go at this and get it on. Try and get some of those lines out and try and make it a little bit smooth so you haven't got ridges. Well, there it is. And it gives a really good finish. It doesn't sort of show it as much on the camera. I'll go ahead and finish this and um, I'll show you at the end. Well, there it is finished. That's uh, one coat of the suede paint. It's only water-based paint, so it's uh, no big deal. And uh, when that dries, I'll give it a second coat. Okay, well I've put the bridge back in its place. Once it's dry, I'll give it another coat. And then uh, all it's left to do is uh, coat it in a red brick. That fence or those two fences I just made myself. Um, cut those out on the laser and um, just use fly screen. Uh, some of the uh, models that are already on the layout um, are available through the old dog model railway site. Uh, that little signal box has a water tank that stands on that side. That was a typical country little signal box. I'll use that for that one there, that's fine. Down here we've got some platform edging. Uh, there was some of that that ran along just up there in the yard to hold back the, the earth on the side of this hill. The good shed, that's uh, the good shed that was there in that position in Gosford. It's not quite finished. These are all available through the Old Dog Model Railway website. That house up there was one of our kits that I've modified. That, um, I'll pull it over. That front veranda in real life has been closed in to make a room. So that kit was a veranda, so I just closed it in 